Investors Insight, where today's topic is inflation and market volatility. Inflation continues to be a headwind for the market uh, this year, and we saw it last week. Ty's going to take a deeper dive into actual inflation and what it means. Uh, but first, let's talk about last week. So the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, personal consumption expenditures, or PCE, not only came in worse than expected, but the prior three months were all revised higher as well. And the whole thing throws a lot of cold water on the disinflation hoopla and the rally that we've seen uh, this year so far. Even worse, and as you can see in this chart, on a year-over-year basis, the PCE price index or services spiked by 5.6%. That's a big number. That's the worst since 1984. This matters because services is where inflation is running hot, and services makes up almost two-thirds of consumer spending. And this higher reading is not what the Fed wanted to see. So we expect further rate hikes, which will continue to lead to more volatility in the market uh, than what we were hoping for coming into this year. So uh, obviously, this, this higher reading also makes the Fed's job extremely difficult in bringing inflation down without significantly hurting the economy. So as always, we're watching inflation closely here. Uh, but Ty, we talk about inflation all the time. It matters. It impacts the market. For our viewers, take a deeper dive uh, in, in the specifically the inflation and where we're seeing it most. Yeah, like you said, you know, we talk about inflation all the time, but you know, sometimes we don't go maybe as in detail as we should. And so I wanted to look at this chart that I have here. This is December 21 uh, to December of 22. So I know we're in February 23, but this is the most up-to-date one we kind of got right now, a year-over-year change. As you can see, you know, to your point, services have been inflationary, airfare up, you know, 28.5%. Uh, hotels and motels, th- you know, three percent. Food, ten and a quarter. Nat gas, nineteen. Despite the the big pullback that we've seen in that gas because of a a warmer winter. I know we got some snowstorms going on now, but we've had a traditionally warmer winter. Um, but you know, some surprising things here. Uh, gasoline is actually down one and a half percent year over year. Uh, I mean, who would have thought we would be saying that last year? Used car prices finally coming down, down almost nine percent. TVs, I mean, everyone bought some kind of electronic stuff in, in, during the pandemic. TVs are down 14%. If you need a TV right now, now's not a bad time. And then, you know, on top of that, I, I want to show this chart. This is since 2000 and how price changes in, in consumer goods and wages and ha, have, have developed. And so, as you can see here, TVs, toys, computer software, anything with technology related, technology is truly deflationary. Those things have, have fallen off a cliff. I mean, everyone has a TV. Everyone's got five TVs in their house. Um, and then on top of that, you know, as you can see, hospital services, to nobody's surprise, more expensive. College tuition, who would have guessed that? You know, more expensive. Uh, food and beverages up a little bit, but apparel kind of flat. Just kind of an interesting deep dive here. Uh, and mix in there is hourly wages that, that have increased with more, you know, m- more than most items. Yeah, so as our topic suggests, as long as inflation is remaining elevated, we're going to see elevated market volatility. And after a third week in a row of a declining market, we're analyzing our technical research closely here. And as you can see in this chart, we would like to see the S&P 500 stay above the 200-day moving average of 39.42. This week, there are numerous Federal Reserve officials speaking and a number of important economic reports coming out. So for those viewers who like to track the markets throughout the week, watch the 39.42 level of the S&P 500 carefully. Uh, and it's very important that the market holds this level as we continue to deal with higher inflation. Inflation matters. Uh, that's why we talk about it week in and week out. It impacts the market greatly, as we've seen the past three weeks, as inflation continues to climb higher. As always, thanks for watching. We'll continue to keep you updated. Have a great week. Thanks. Thanks.